Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create a really simple loop using symbols in flash. If you checked out my previous lessons, we've got a fairly simple tween using a symbol from one side of the screen to the other. I'm going to show you how to make that symbol change as it moves from left to right. So what we need to do is go to our first keyframe. We've got our symbol face. If we double click on that, you'll see that our timeline changes. We've just got one keyframe there. So we're now inside our face symbol. So you've got scene one, face. If I click on scene one, it'll take me back to the original timeline and you can see we've got our 75 frame little tween there. But if I double click again, it'll disappear and we'll go back into face. So essentially what we've got is a one frame animation that's looping 75 frames. But obviously it doesn't look like an animation because it's just one still. To change that, we have to create some more frames within this symbol. So this symbol has got a whole different timeline of its own where anything can happen. So I need to create a new keyframe. So I'm going to do that at frame 4. So I press F6. It will create a copy of what was in frame 1. And frame 1 will now last three frames as you can see there. So I can make changes to the second keyframe to make it a bit more interesting to make it seem like it's moving. So I might want to redraw some of the elements. So if I stick onion skinning on I can see what's in the previous keyframe and maybe I'll change the mouth a little bit. So the mouth can become a little circle and the eyes can move to the side. So that's fairly simple. Um, so now you can see we've got a little bit of movement there. You might want to add more keyframes so I can go on another three frames, press F6 again. Stick our onion skinning on might want to delete these elements again so I can move the eyes further towards the left maybe make the mouth smaller so I'll turn onion skinning off now you can see we've got a really very very basic animation there um, we've got three keyframes first two last for three frames so we want to make the third one last for three as well to make it nice and even so to do that, if I press F5 twice, that'll make it last for three frames. So you can see they're all equal. So if we click on scene one, it'll take us back to scene one. And if we press enter, what it'll do is it'll loop those three frames as it moves from the left to the right. So you can see we've got a very, very simple little loop there. Okay, easy peasy. Uh, in the next lesson, I'll show you how to move your tween along a motion guide. See you there. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, the Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.